Hi, today we will install iJob on CentOS 7.5. In my previous video, I have shown you how to install iJob on Ubuntu 16.4 LTS version. So, to install iJob properly, we will follow the official guideline. If you see the official guideline here at the iTop Hub, it says the first it has some software requirement that grab BSB, PSP GD and PSP version, MySQL version. These are the requirements. And during installation, we cannot install PHP 7.3 or MySQL 8 because iTop does not work with this. We have some PHP and MySQL recommendations. These are the PHP settings. We have to set this value on the PHP INI file. What these parameters will do, these are self explanatory here. So, after setting the php.ini, then we have to set some value on the my.cnf file for the MySQL. So, these are the uh, recommended settings for PHP and MySQL. And we will install the required RPMs here, the required services and packages for the CentOS installation. So I have summarized all the installation steps to successfully install the ITOP application. Here I will follow these summarized guideline from the right side. I will make this note available on my website very soon. So let's get started. Let's see first our operating system version. It is CentOS 7.5. Let's run yum update. So we will not update all the packages. Let's install first the HTTPD. Let's restart the package. Now our AT port is open. Okay, let's install MySQL. We will install MariaDB10. Let's run the yeah, install MariaDB server and MariaDB client. Now MariaDB packages installed successfully. Let's start the service. Let's run MySQL secure installation for proper MySQL installation. Enter current password for root. We do not have any root password now. So press enter. Set root password. Yes. New password. Make sure the password is strong. Remove anonymous user. Yes. Resolve root loving. No. Remove case database. Yes. Reload privilege. Yes. Okay. So now. We are done configuring MariaDB. So let's install PHP 7.2. By default, if you install PHP, it will install 5.6 or 5.5 maybe.
with the recommended package set i have added another package which is php zip it is required okay so we have installed the required packages this was the first step of the installation now let's set the php ini value file upload on and upload max file size should be at least 20m max this is not mandatory to make it 20m but to increase it it will be mandatory max file upload now max execution Max execution time should be 300, 5 minutes. Memory limit should be 2566. Max input time 90. Max input parts should be 5000 post max post max size 32m Uh, the date and time zone let's set it here now. so our php that ini configuration is complete now let's log into the mysql server Now I'm executing this SQL statement create database ITOP. This is for character set. Create user ITOP. And we are assigning a password. We are giving all the permission to ITOP database, the ITOP user. Best is the flash privilege and white now let's set the mysql parameters so let's open the my.cnf this settings should be under mysql d Now let's restart MariaDB. I'm just copying and pasting because during typing we could uh, make error. So One ATP is running. Yes. Okay. So now let's go to the final stage downloading and installing the ITOP package. 
we are installing the latest one 2.6.1 MB right up and give it the right permission. Okay, so we have done the final step. Now let's hit the URL. I have already mapped my host file with the my server IP. So let's it okay so it says that now the prerequisite validation okay it finds everything okay so let's continue install a new item I accept okay server is the local host login is the job password now it says the database server can okay so use the existing item database next here is the admin password okay i'm installing a demo no installing a production instance i don't want to set this I will use my item only for the operating system so a minimal configuration is okay service management for enterprise if you want to uh, follow if you want to configure our organization for full itl compliant multi-organization scenario then you should choose this option service management for service provider so we are a small organization we are giving support to only few hundred of our clients so service management for enterprise this option is okay for us simple ticket management enhanced customer portal this should be our choice not the itl compliant simple change management we don't need any we don't need this option okay now let's install okay that's good so our itop installation is done and we successfully installed itop 2.6.1 on centos 7.5 so thank you for watching in our next series of videos i will show you how to configure itop for the organization's ticketing system if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe